Good morning, guys. I got up bright and early, and I'm going to do paint with Kim. So I thought it would be great for you guys to watch me paint while sitting in front of the ocean. I don't know how many of you have ever seen the ocean, but it's a beautiful day. Look at those clouds. So this is what we're going to paint today. Um, and we're going to paint with watercolors. Now, if, if I was you and you're going to do an early morning paint like I am doing, I would definitely say get your stuff prepared at night. Have it sitting at the door so that way you don't get lazy um, come time to get up in the morning and, and work. So I'm just trying to get this camera to stay sitting ever so nicely here. Um, there, there we go. Okay. Um, oh goodness, it's just giving me a hard time. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a watercolor paint today, and watercolors are so much fun because. Okay, where can I put this? So you can't see it there okay so watercolors are really fun because um, really it's just a nice uh, light color so with watercoloring though is whatever you put on the page it's gonna be there no matter how many layers you put on it it will not ever be um, it won't ever be co uh, covered up and you're like, oh, I don't have any watercolors. Well, that is okay. If you don't have watercolors, as long as you have your finger or something to wipe with, paper towel, paintbrush, you really could use anything. Um, just go in your fridge if you have mustard, if you have coffee grinds, uh, strawberries, blueberries, cherries are a really good one to paint with. And all you do is just need a little bit of their juices and then you just put it on the canvas or on a piece of paper. And that is a great way of painting. You don't have to have paint um, to, in order to paint. So that's a great thing, especially if you're trying to get a water watercolor look. You do not need actual watercolors. So what I've done here is I have gotten my, my paint tray wet. So my, water, my uh, watercolors are ready to go. Getting my paint paintbrush wet. And I think I'm going to do some, some teal in here. And what you're doing is, is you're going to try to find, you're going to try to find on your canvas, you're going to just try to find a horizon. So you can either make a low horizon or a high horizon. It doesn't really matter. You just go right across your page, just like that. That is going to be my waterline. And anything below it, will be my ocean line okay and as you know oceans are not perfect lines so I'm not making these lines I'm kind of making them wavy like that some are dark some aren't the dark ones are where the as you can see see the waves rolling in so that's gonna be mine and you're gonna want to add in all different colors because as you can see out there there's all these different colors so I'm adding in a little bit of blue. Notice I'm not washing my paintbrush at all. All I'm doing is just adding more and more color to it. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of green in there. And I like my watercolor when I'm making water to be very wet. So that way it kind of drips and I, I get this kind of like dripping look. I really, I personally love that look. And as you can see, it's really starting to come alive. Then I want to do the beach area. When I'm doing the beach area, I'm going to use a little bit of yellow, tiny bit of orange, and I'm just going to make the beach down here so you can see that this is where the water really meets that, meets the beach. And then you just keep doing that across. And again, you can see that it's, it's not really doing, I'm not doing anything really perfect. I really just want to get that, you know, that nice look. I'm going to put a little bit of brown in there. And then, so I'm getting my brown horizon in there. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel 
and I'm just gonna blot it up. Oh, look at that. Look at the ocean. It's really, I think it looks a lot like the ocean. It's really coming alive. So what we want to do is now we want to do, we want to do the, the clouds. So you can see the clouds are in there. So when you're making the clouds, I'm going to use some white along with my, my different color blues. And I'm going to dry my brush just a tiny bit. And when you're doing clouds, I'm just going to kind of go like in circular patterns. And if you can see, you can see the cloud starting to form. So I'm going to go back into my white, a little bit of my blue, shake off my paintbrush. And again, just go in a circular motion. And you're like, oh, I don't really see too much. Not yet, but when it dries, that's when you start to see everything. And I'm really not covering my canvas with uh, one big flat color because I kind of want to keep the white there. Let's see here. So as you can see, I am painting kind of without looking. Um, it's really fun. I'm trying to create that, the clouds up there. And if you want to get a stronger, that stronger feel, you can just kind of go along your clouds and kind of, you know, just really make them, you can kind of like really just start forming them. And you're, you're, you're just really kind of like shaking your hand and just, you can dab it on the screen. But what you want to do is just kind of make that those clouds like come alive and if you notice it you know you start to get some drops bring them around and look at that I think that's looking great I can't wait to see what yours is gonna look like um, Really what you want to do is just get a chair or sit down on the ground and just see what you can do. I want to work in some of my waves here so you can really see that water pattern. So when you're trying to do a water pattern, you're kind of just like just making waves going across your page right here. And then you kind of just and just dabbing it a little and that will create that creates that splashing of the wave that you can see so I clean this up a bit there and get a little less of a drip look at that wow um, and again you can really go crazy with this is I don't know if you can hear but there's seagulls in the in the background I want a little bit more of that the beach so that's the great thing about watercolor is you can go right back over what you've already done and add in some more if you want to add in that beach like I do I want to add in some beach and if you want to add a bird you can you just gotta Dry your brush, and you're just going to use the tip, just the tip of your brush, nothing more. You're going to just use the tip of your brush, and you're just going to make these little V's. See them? Little V's, and you don't always want them to touch each other, because it's like birds flying in the sky off into the distance. Well, guys, that's a... Uh, that's it for painting with Kim at the beach. I can't wait to see your creations.